last S day was getting normal. Oh, oh, tell Lunt was thinking of he forgot something till he said hmm what is it i'm forgetting let's see i ate moxie's lunch then i kicked another baby carriage then and i just hanged up on a lot of people on phone calls then i think that's it it hmm what could i be forgetting though so Blitz came and said, Hey Looney, did you have the thing I asked you to take care of? Just let you know, because I just want to remind you forgotten till Luna said. Hmm, yeah, yeah, it's all taken care of. Besides, it's, I, I should forget what I got rid of. Off and take care of, or something like that. So Blitz said, Huh, man, those clothes, huh? Found patches in them. Besides, I could have arrived if but naked to that bird lady's bedroom. Besides, no way I'm going for another round with her. It was only one time thing, and that's it only. Till Luna said, Wait, clothes? As in like, a t-shirt, jeans, and a bra and panties by any chance? Till Blitz said, Yeah, guess I found a patch in them. That was a magic one that can tr teleport anybody to anywhere. And says, when I saw those, they probably teleport me to her bedroom, and she could have easy access to half me, as I'd be wearing nothing. So I suppose for my natural clothes. Besides, there's no way I'm going back with her. It was only a one-time thing, only. Until Luna realized, and then he ran. Until, oh, Blitz said, Wait, Louie, where are you going? Until... Luna said as he was running. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. If she puts those clothes on, she's gonna end up who knows where. Oh, I gotta get there before she puts those on. And besides, this is gonna be my fault and I'm gonna learn explain to do what she's doing here in hell. Tell Luna right to the apartment and open the door. Then he shouted out. Hey, cutie cat, you hear? Just yell for once or yell for no. Oh, oh crap. Oh, she might be in the bathroom still taking a shower. Maybe I can just snatch the clothes before she even puts them on. So Luna reached to open the door, but he reminded himself if he does this, she'll call him a peek and Tom for who knows what. So he opened the door and he looked. And Tom, she was not even there. So Luna said, God damn it. And those were the clothes I gave her. Oh man, she's probably already at that bird lady's mention. If I get there, her, me and her are going to be in a lot of trouble. As I walked up, up and I walked up in darkness, I looked and say, Where am I? Besides, I never put on the clothes, then I found this patch, then all of a sudden I got teleported here. Uh, then I felt a cold breeze on my body. I looked and realized I was naked. Oh my gosh! What happened to my clothes? Then I heard a set voice of someone. Ah, oh, it looks like my little trap has worked. So, oh, you fell for it by wearing the clothes I gave you. Now, let's begin our little fun, shall we? Till I looked uh, and thought, who was she? Wait, she said Blitz. Does she mean Blitz? Does she think I'm her? Oh my gosh, I better get right by this mysterious person. Till I spoke up and said, Please, don't rape me. I'm not who you think I am. Please, I'm not her. Until uh, the, the mysterious figure said, Oh, come on, don't play these little games. And why do you think rape? We've always been doing this, you know. But besides, you can't get away from me now. Until I convinced her, saying, Wait, what about a little candlelight? Until she said, Candlelight? Why? Hey, what for? Until I said, and Because as you want it to be romantic, right? Romantic enough so you can have your way with me? Yeah. Until she said, Oh, what way? You know, 
the way you always do with me? And that I might make the bed shake and be scream so loud? Until she said, oh, oh, that sounds lovely. Yes, hang on a second. Tell suddenly, right, until the figure revealed it was a tall owl woman. Until she looked at me and said, oh my goodness, you're, you're not Blitzy. And I'm like, goodness me, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you. So I said to her, no, it's fine, you didn't really force me or anything like that. Well, well, let me ask, um, can I have some clothes or borrow your robe? Because I don't want no one to see me like this. And so she said, that, oh yes, please follow me, I'll give you a change of clothes right away. So I got dressed in a nice blue shirt and some nice p pants and of course bra and panties. But so I knew I might be asked a lot of questions. So Miss Davis Emma said, I am so sorry about that again. I thought you were someone I knew, but by the looking at you, you don't belong here. So what's your name? Tyler so looked around and said, Oh, I'm Molly. Molly Trev. And you are? And so she says, Oh, I'm Stellas. Stellas Galatia. The princess uh, the, of hell. So, if I might wonder, how did you get here? Until you said, Uh, I actually don't know. All I remember was, um, I got shot. Then, all of a sudden, I woke up here. Until she stared at me, like, wondering, why hey, did I not remember how I got here? Until she, he said, well, then, mm, it's been a long time since I've talked to your time. So I've been to the human world myself often, and had the close encounters with your kind, but never talked to them. So, when you tell me, you know more about yourself. So I told her, well, I'm an author, I write books, and I work and try to do my 100% best to stay away from boys. Because trust me, they're nothing but trouble. Until, oh, she looked at me and smiled. <laughs> I agree with you. I, my husband and I, oh, we had a horrible marriage. Every time he throws a party, I overhear him talking bad things about me all the time behind my back. He said I wasn't even good in bed, and he was happy that I got pregnant for some reason. And I'm glad I divorced his sorry butt. So I looked at her and said, he actually said that? He said, yep, I'm so glad I divorced him. So I looked at her and said, you yeah, know, we should hang out sometime and talk about how terrible boys are. And so she said, oh, yes, we should. But anyway, sh he should get back. I said, are you staying anywhere here? And so he said, yeah, uh, I'm actually staying with the boy. And so she said, oh, is this boy a hill hand by any chance? Um, no. So she looked at me saying, why, did you two get on dates or something? And so I said, what? No, I'm trying to stay away from boys. I told her, and say, well, yes, he's a hellhound, but he's kind of weird and mysterious. I don't understand him, though. Until she looked at me and said, hmm, I get you. All boys and men always look and be mysterious sometimes. And, well, it's been nice talking to you, and I think you should be on your way. I said, oh yes, thank you. Uh, nice to meet you, Prince Estella. Until she said, it's nice to meet you too, Molly, Trev. So I walked and said, hmm, she's kind of cool to hang out with. Maybe we can talk about how terrible her husband is and how weird Luna is. Until I saw a portrait and there was the princess and that could been her son and the one that was a tall man 
Is that her husband she was talking about? Huh. I don't know why she divorced him. He ain't a handsome looking at all. Until I heard music. I went up to investigate and looked. Uh, there was a bedroom door. Until I looked, it was a boy in boxers. I was like, is that her, her son? Huh, I didn't know he was staying here since the divorce. Probably she has full custody of him. So, oh, uh, I saw what looked like a map. Man, I could use it to find my way back. So I tried to reach for it, I fell. And what I knew was not going to be good. To be continued. Alright guys, that's in today's video. If you love today's video, please do a hit like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. And comment down below what you love of about this. And always hit notifications so you don't miss a single video.